Hello, I'm Nick Briggs and I'm the co-executive producer of Big Finish Productions and here we are today at Big Finish Day 6. <gasps> oh, it's fantastic. I've never done one of these uh, Big Finish Days before. Um, did any day like that. It's, this, is, this is a completely new experience. It's wonderful. You meet so many wonderful people and the, the enthusiasm and the passion of the fans is uh, Doctor Who and, and all, indeed all of the Big Finish productions it's really inspiring yeah no it's, it's really I'm really having a good time this is my first I've never really um, yes I've never been exposed to it before and it's really really good it's great fun lots of really lovely people and uh, yeah it's good fun the line that I keep being asked to um, either record for people's iPhones or um, write when I'm signing the various uh, audio covers and things is hello you that seems to be his signature hello you so uh, yeah I, that's that seems to be the um, the signature of the current master and it's, it's great I really like it yeah if you think of uh, uh, Doctor Who fandom as orange squash this is like orange squash uh, with hardly any water in it at all because we've come right down to the big Finnish fans and it's it's lovely because they uh, are fans of everything we do and know our work well. You know, sometimes when we go to huge Doctor Who conventions, we spend a lot of our time explaining who we are, and you see a lot of head scratching, and oh, what? oh I ought to try this. But here, they know it all. And there's a real, I know it's a cliche to say things like this, but there's a real family feel. These are our people, and they love us, and we love them, they're brilliant. Doctor Who conventions always seem to have a sort of character of their own, and this one is different from some of them because it's for big finish. Mostly it's because, I don't know, it's just to do with Doctor Who, the programme, and there's always a, a sort of variation that slightly changes the, the kind of way the convention feels. And I don't know what that is, it's an intangible. It's not much, it's not very different, it just feels slightly different. It's partly the things you're signing. So whereas at a normal convention I might sign an awful lot of photographs and some audio jackets of, of CDs, it's the other way around here, so one is signing loads and loads of CDs. And one of the nice things about it is that you, you are reminded of some of the things you've done because people bring things from what is now a very long time back. Because even, it's a very long time since I did the television programme, but it's actually quite a long time now since I started working with Big Finish. So it's a nice reminder of some of the work one's done. You know, I mean, what I'm still amazed about, especially as we've been going, actually at the end of this year, Bernice in audio form will have been going 17 years, which is, is, is a, a lifetime to most people, <laughs> including myself, um, that we continually getting new fans and, and that's so exciting and not only fans from this country um, we have fans in, in Russia and France and I mean it, it was like um, the uh, United Nations of fandom out there today and, and what's really lovely is the fact that when Big Finish Days started I think it was always considered as a bit of an experiment the fact we're on Big Finish Day 6 and it's so crowded um, and, and full of people who love Big Finish. And, uh, you know, who, who doesn't like interacting with people who like what you do? I like it. You know? I've interviewed Sylvester several times on stage over the last few years, and I have learned that what he likes to do is not be pinned down. So what you do is you give him a radio mic so he's not got a long trailing lead, and you just let him go into the audience. And the whole thing becomes a real, uh, I don't know, it's like performance art. The fans are wonderful because they, they know more about it than I do. I mean, they, you know, they know more about Doctor Who than I do. Sometimes they ask me a question and I have just to turn to someone in the audience and say, I don't know, anyone out there know the answer? And they come back and they tell me. Yeah, I, I, enjoy, the, the, I enjoy that getting down and dirty with the audience, getting in amongst them, talking to them, interviewing them. And they're asking questions of me. Sylvester's a great believer in uh, spontaneity and you know he as I say he's always looking for an opportunity and when he looked at his schedule for today and accidentally there was a typo and rather than saying he was signing in the in the reception or wherever he said he was singing they got the N and the G the wrong way around folks and, and this delighted Sylvester because he really thought well I will be doing singing and uh, I'll get the spoons you know and he was you know there. Uh, I didn't witness it, but he was very proud. I saw him just now when he was leaving. He was very proud that he'd uh, taken that opportunity. I think it's wonderful and delightful and amazing, the success of Big Finish. I think it's terrific, because it started off as a hobby, and now it's become its own little industry, really. 
and the product that they've produced is phenomenal. I mean, it really is what they do. And the quality of it is just, wow, joyful, great. So it's a great privilege to be part of that journey. And I've been at it from way, you know, the very, very beginning. I think we might have started recording in someone's toilet because the sound was good. I can't, I think it was something like that. So, you know, it's been a privilege and a joy to be part of this long journey and the growth of Big Finish. I'll go and ask David Richardson about that. That's my answer to everything. I must ask David Richardson. David, where are you?